If you like our videos, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. That this little chunky boy, well, this went. Oh, 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 what a little fucking beautiful. Thank you, buddy. All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. If this is your first time on the channel, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you do enjoy, if you're back from the pack, welcome back to you specifically. Myself and Jimmy, very much. Continued support. Today, we have episode 6 of Fallout. Episode 6. Which, um, has left us with a lot of questions. One. What fault is Lucy and Max missing? Two, what's the deal with Vault 31? And why is everyone there shady as fuck? And three, what the hell happened to the ghoul last episode because he wasn't even in it? So, a couple things that we need to address and we need to grab in this one. Also, Shady Sands blew up. That's four. How the hell did that happen? I think it was the Brotherhood, but upon more reflection, I don't think they would. This doesn't seem feasible to me. I mean, maybe if they had Liberty Prime, sure, but like, I don't know. It's some, something seems fishy about all this. Not entirely sure what, but something seems off. And I'm curious to see where this goes. Anyways, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get too, too much into this one because uh, this, yeah, pretty straightforward with hangers, so hopefully we get some quick answers. Uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Two, one, let us begin. Huh? <laughs> Galaxy News. Very nice. Hello there. Hello. Yep, it's me, Cooper Howard. Cooper Star Howard, State advertising. No, today I'm here to show you a vast and wonderful place. Not made by God Almighty. Oh, boy. The working man. Oh, boy. A veritable Camelot of the nuclear age. Hmm. <laughs> there, that's better. Vault 4. 6 JQ 1164. And what a beauty. Test is. subjects. And what a song she sings. In the trailer. That right there is Vault 4's strong enough to keep out the rads and the reds. <laughs> nice. Meet the Hawthorns. Now, this isn't just your average all American family. No, Hawthorns. Here are both scientists specializing in the effects of radiation. That was the name of the. Um... That's right. The the, we'll the medical facility right above the vault. Leading a Wait a second. Did you say living down here? Well, there hasn't been a nuclear incident. Happened. Living down here completely. No, yet, but, wait. Uh, completely populated by scientists. Group of 80 volunteers will be conducting a five-year trial of Vault 4. Hmm. Demonstrate. Five years. Well, I may play a hero in the movies, but. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Interesting. And now you can be a hero too. By purchasing a residence in a Vault Tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, oh boy. the world is gonna need Americans just like you to build a better day after. Should I call that? And the call address is in Los Angeles, California. That's pretty damn funny. And cut. That was great take. Did they put yeah, an did. actual? Oh, the transition from the right. screens there. Yeah, That's I'm great. Right, right? Yes, sir. Mr. Howard, great work today. Uh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Bud Askins, I oversee the Southern California Vault Tech in Q3 after a 10-year stint in West Tech. <laughs> West Tech. It's a defense contract. Oh, oh he worked I'm with West Tech. Designed the T45 power armor. First of its kind. 
You know, I, I oversaw the, the rollout. Oh. We did great. I wore the T-45 when we almost lost the great state of Alaska to the Reds. Those design flaws of yours cost a lot of good. He was at Anchorage? Yeah. Part of HR R&D now. You know, overseeing workflow optimization and management timelines. I'm all about <laughs> he, he completely <laughs> fucking changed his lane there. That's thinking of, because what is the ultimate weapon to destroy your competition? It's time. Hmm. Time. Oh, uh, interesting. <laughs> Sounds comes down to one word. Yeah, what's that? Management. <laughs> well, I'm off. Death on to management. <laughs> oh. The network. Oh, how about we clock out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord. But what do you say, you and me? Knock back a couple of pink. So wait, they're actually Ooh, in a vault four. Ooh, there is a rap party. Four hours. We shake a few hands. It's at our house. Oh, wow. The things I'm willing to do for you. All right, well, he's got roped into a fucking party now. Ooh, he's looking suave. Oh, <laughs> damn. Hey, Nuka-Cola mentioned Roosevelt him there. heading into enemy territory. Oh, he was a dog guy. He was a dog guy. Red's losing territory. <laughs> Man and his dog? No, fuck. He was such a dog guy, he put his own dog in the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. Too. It was my real dog. It was! It was his real dog! Okay, I understand why he's got such a connection with the fucking dog now. Ah, the days when you could casually smoke in the household. <laughs> in Anchorage are having a serious impact on pre -service. We'll have to circle up with DC about that. Ideally before our quarterly projection. Race. Damn, the amount of mentions of Anchorage <laughs> and the fucking battle of Anchorage is crazy. Well, I need to do it to close friends and beautiful women, but you two are already halfway there. <laughs> I, Bartholomew Codsworth, am ever ready to serve. <laughs> Perhaps when you finish Wait. your shift, we could... Party in the hot tub. What do you think of that? Oh, no, 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 thank you. Okay. <laughs> Damn, I'm fucking turned down. Oh, shit, Wait, so he's Codsworth? One of my invites who actually showed up <laughs> from Fallout 4. Uh, I think our Hollywood actor friends they want to be seen celebrating with the pitch man for the end of the world. <laughs> I am, I am so happy to see Matt Berry in person in this, too. Bonnie Lewis. She's a more ads than a fucking billboard. Yeah. Fucking Hollywood rats. <laughs> radicalism is sweeping through Hollywood like a bad case of the clap. They've even got your friend, Charlie Whiteman. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Charlie? Thanks. I mean, I dip my bits in the same gravy train, sell my vocal rights to that spinning robot they sell to housewives and perverts. Guess <laughs> how much they paid me for that. Ten million? No, I got 186 free tax. Maybe you could ask. Oh. Well, I did ask for more. Got them to throw in one of those robots. <laughs> <laughs> they think wow. every time I walk into my own house, my own boy saying, hello, sir, do you want to sit down? <laughs> <laughs> At the studio on that character. They did, and then Robco bought the studio. Mm. Listen to me. Hollywood is the past. Forget Hollywood. The future, my friend, is products. Wait, the hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Is a product, yeah. and for those of us who can successfully embrace that, I'd say the future is golden. To the future. That is quite a line, for one thing. The future. But you're wait. Robco bought the rights. I bought ever ready to serve. <laughs> nice little reminder for the ghoul. But yeah, Robco bought the rights. I thought oh, it was hello, General Atomics that made the Mr. Handy. Let's get to it, shall we? Shall we? Who the fuck what, are what, these guys? Take his fusion core. There's no fudge shit. Oh, really? A legitimate business? That's illegal around these. A legitimate business. The government. <laughs> what? The government. Okay, bud. All right. Alt four. Oh. Oh, they're in the the ad vault. Ew, what 
What the fuck? Teeth for ammunition. Always finding new ways to kill each other up there, aren't they? Oh! We need uh, an antibiotic. Safe to travel. I'm fine. I'm fine. You had a rotten human tooth lodged in your shoulder. You're not fine. <laughs> no. This, this is a we can't thank you enough for letting us in and taking care of us. That is a lot what of fucking here? needle stabs, oh, and though. We found Jesus. His armor. Our surface foragers are bringing it back now. Oh, Wait, they great. found his Thank armor? You. It's not ideal for us to stay put, but I gotta admit, it's sure wow. good to be back in a vault. But it is not good. I was born on the surface. <laughs> My mother was a courier. I was 11 and traveled with her to Philly. She was a Three courier. From home, and we could still feel the heat from the blast. From Shady Sands. Many of us are. We were lucky to find such a hospitable community here in Vault 4. Oh. We just need you to stay in your So Vault 4 took in the refugees. Contamination. All good. What? The fuck? You want to have sex? You mean uh, use my cock? <laughs> what? Yeah. What the fuck? Is that weird thing? What weird thing? But for some guys, you know, when they make it move, it gets all big and hard like a big pimple, and then it pops. You know, they say it could happen to anybody, <coughs> but still, it's, it's gross. You know, that's uh, that's actually completely normal. What in the, the fuck is happening? Time, ideally. I'm a knight. Um, a knight of the Brotherhood. We're not supposed to. Uh. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, wait a fucking minute. <laughs> <laughs> they were pumping the room for fucking pheromones. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> We shouldn't be wasting time down here. You heard the doctor. Besides, we made a deal the to fuck find is that? together. You're Craft not dinner that. fucking shells? Also, I would... This is a cult. Same as any. It's not a cult. <laughs> I <Everyone's laughs> can't. I just, this is a safe place. Can't see that the Brotherhood's a cult. I... <laughs> In the vaults, we recognize that we all need each other. Just like I needed you on the surface. Oh. We're stuck here until you're able to travel. Interesting. So. Sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but our overseer wanted to say a quick hello. Ah, very good. Overseer Benjamin, this is Lucy and Titus. Hey, guys. Just wanted to say hi. Um, stay out of level 12. Obviously, we prefer you not go there. Oh, and we uh -huh. only have one foosball table. So if you want to play, uh -huh. you got to sign up. Uh, oh, and if you're unfamiliar... <laughs> With how the bathrooms work, just ask. Asking having having him play this guy is great, but trust me, what the fuck? Why is he a cyclops? Incident with newcomers. Any questions or concerns beyond foosball or pencils or bathrooms? Birdies available. And once again, welcome to Vault Four. <laughs> We're glad to have you. To uh, okay. Oh, that man's fingers are all oh. Wow, everyone here's a mutant. That was weird. That's what I'm saying. What people are nice. Well, Titus, I'm talking about his eye. <laughs> people have one eye. Well, his was in the middle. A little to the left. And the level twelve stuff. <laughs> and a little to the left. Oh. Sorry. I didn't Have realize the fucking. Dune guys were in this. <laughs> the fuck they called the Fremen? He's having like a whole fucking existential crisis since watching his video. Think about working somewhere else. Oh. Not like in Vault Tech. I used to. If you do in these ads, it's, it's practically the family business. That's not the answer he was wanting to hear. job in payrolls. About it? Quitting showbiz? Buying us a... Ranch up in Bakersfield. Hmm. Back to being a real cowboy again. You would uh, look pretty <laughs> and help me raise chickens. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Too much news lately. Got me second guessing the whole. City. Oh, yeah, I see. I I understand. Immediately to her fucking pit boy. Oh come on, you, you've seen these around. Skins. He licensed them from Robco. We're integrating them with the Vault Tech emission systems. But Askins. But Askins. But Askins commissioned. Well, Rob Co and Robert you. House to make these things. Do anyone's job, Coop. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can mm. buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, you let on way too much with that. I'm doing what I can. Okay, just trust me. She knows a lot more than she lets Please. on. Ah, uh, uranium shortage. Yeah, I wonder who bought it all up. Uh -huh. One of your communists, maybe? Come on, man. We watch people die together up north fighting against all that horse shit. <laughs> yeah, for what? Oh, what my for Lord. What? Because we make movies, Charlie. Yeah, the American dream has me getting shot in the ass by you all day. You got five acres in Tarzan. I think you're doing all right. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Coop. Voltex the fucking devil, man. So there's like a, a group that's against Volkai. Do you know what fiduciary responsibility Volkai. means? Fiduciary responsibility? No. I have no fucking idea. I play a cowboy for a living. <laughs> yeah. Honest so answer. the U.S. government has outsourced the survival of the human race to vault -Tec, a private corporation that has a fiduciary responsibility to make money for its investors. And how does it make money? By selling vault. So vault -Tec has a fiduciary responsibility to make sure that it don't work out. Yeah, how are they going to do that? Yep. That is an excellent you point. Martin? You were the sheriff and I was some generic Indian? Come on, man. Don't say that. Tall Hand Mud Lake could talk to horses. <laughs> you played it with grace. Great role for you. Morton played a rancher who owned half of Missouri. And what happens when the cattle ranchers have more power than the sheriff? The whole town burns down. The whole town burns down. Uh, it's a trillion dollar company that owns half of Good the example. Cattle ranchers are in charge, Coop. Oh, come on. Oh, good analogy. We'll do something about it. I guess everything's a conspiracy, right? Oh. You're sitting here defending a system that's ready to set the world on fire, Cooper. Maybe you're the one in the cult. <laughs> no. Damn. Damn. This is quite a back and forth. Hello? Man, we've been sticking with uh, the flashback stuff for quite a bit. Yeah. Janie asleep? Uh, she's reading Little House on the Prairie to Roosevelt. Ah. <laughs> Very nice. It'd be hard on her. That's all. What is? You know, no dogs in the vaults. What? Says who? Hmm? That's the real question, yeah. Um, that's just the, um, that's the policy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dogs eat meat. It's an avoidable inefficiency. Wow, they they are so fucking cool. All I'm asking is, who decided that there were no dogs in the vault? Well, I think that is a relatively trivial concern. Oh, given my the prerequisite God. conditions of us living in a nuclear fallout shelter. Who ma who makes the rules? Because no dogs allowed. That is a new rule. Somebody decided that and didn't share it with fucking anyone. Blue jumpsuits. Are those mandatory? What if I don't want to wear a blue jumpsuit? What if I want to wear a green one? <laughs> no, I want to know about my freedom. I didn't go to war defending that freedom so that I could live in a cellar under the boot heel of Chairman Bud Askins. And while you were away at war? Damn. I stayed home. I Good point. I was checking the mail every I day. I was driving myself crazy, imagining the worst. So you do not need to tell me how bad war is, Coop. Every day I go into work, and I think about that she's manipulating his ass hard. But when the bombs drop, a two-hour drive ain't gonna cut it. So yes, there will be no dogs in the vault, and oh, no, none of it is ideal. But if billions of people are going, to she is their so lives, passionate about something that sure she probably that knows is complete bullshit. Oh wow! I have worked to make sure we go into a special vault for management 
where we will oversee all of the other vaults. What? Best we can possibly hope for. A management Origin. vault? Oh, is that 31? <laughs> Is she in 31? I know. I guess she wouldn't be in 31. Maybe her ancestor at this point. Turn the little handle up top. It all goes away. Yep. That's how a toilet works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually from a vault. I'm from a vault. So you are. Goosey McLean. Oh, no. No. It's, oh, it's Lucy. Nope. It says Goosey. But hey, that's something. <laughs> you don't meet a natural-born vault dweller every day. You're from here? Five generations. I'm proud of it. Oh, well, I just thought because... <laughs> because so many people here seem to be refugees from the surface. Tell me about it. Oh, these people, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> you won't find anyone more open-minded than me, but... They come in here with their smelly food and their weird ideas. <laughs> You're from a vault, you get it? I, I don't understand. <laughs> if you don't like people from the surface, then why do you keep taking them in? I tell you, if you want to get elected, you have to respect their traditions and tolerate them and not call them surfies. It's awful. <laughs> well, you don't take in surface right. dwellers in your vault? No, we don't. What is that like? No, I, I think what you're doing here is a really good thing. I saw what was left of Shady Sandin. <laughs> he seems so disappointed. Destroyed at an instant. But it's like you can't make a funny <laughs> joke about it without offending these guys. I mean, one funny joke I told on maybe ten occasions. Uh-huh. What was the joke? Oh, I forget. All I know is it was a huge bomb. <laughs> Pretty good, right? That sadistic <sighs> smile. Jesus. <laughs> Any other questions? What's on level 12, and why can't we go there? Shit. <laughs> don't talk about that. Jeez, what's the matter with you? Sorry. Hey, there it is, boy. Empty power core, though. Where do you guys get your power from? Why would you tell him? When they find out that they took one of the fucking vault's power cores, that guy needs to be whipped and flogged. My god. <laughs> As indeed a fusion core there. I see you found our fusion core. Uh, you were immediately found out, dude. Some people who come here have a hard time adjusting to finally feeling safe. All the things you've had to do to survive still fresh in your mind. Trust doesn't come easily to those of us with a guilty conscience. Unit 428. How about you sleep in a room of your own tonight? Hmm. Hot shower. Interesting. Other... And when you say hot shower, what, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> I suppose he's never experienced anything but a lukewarm or cold shower. Hmm. 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 Oh my god, I'm a fucking gift basket. How cute. Ah, sugar bombs, Blamco, yum yum fucking deviled eggs, classics from the game. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> Just instant water. That's probably crazy, Tim. Got a nice robe and slippers fucking going on there. Oh, immediately for the fucking caviar. <laughs> fucking face, dude. Is that the fucking flag? Yo, oh, I think that's an NCR flag right there. Remembering Shady Sands. Oh, interesting. A timeline 2181 California Republic 2198. Yep, 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 yep. Largest economic and power fall of Shady Sands is 22. 20. 
277. <laughs> nice. They had the flag and put the fucking Fallout 4 theme behind it. Oh, uh, excuse me. What's going on? It's a surface dweller tradition. It can get a little rambunctious on my taste. A surface dweller tradition. You're welcome to come. Well, shit. Sure oh, there's mold if you're on the board. Ah. <laughs> I heard it was a ghoul that fucked up that super duper mark. Nobody told me it was the ghoul. Ah. Kids these days don't know their goddamn history. Say, you got a needle in three? Sorry. We don't do a lot of knitting around here. <laughs> it's called sewing. Oh, finger too. Oh, is that Lucy's finger? Come on now, Sorrel, we old friends, ain't we? <laughs> I don't know what keeps you going. Maybe you just like the feeling of that good old California sun. Oh, it's sewing the fucking finger Deep on? Space. Really? Deep? You're still looking for her. Who? His daughter Girl, or his wife? I can I sure as hell ain't still alive so that I can have unintelligent conversations with dipshits like yourself. <laughs> Not your fucking mouth. That's the president of the government you're talking to. <laughs> the president of the government. Some woman. Name of Moldava. Hmm. They call her the Flame Mother. The Flame now, Mother? She's dangerous. Well... You know why these boys brought you in? Oh boy. Cause I fucked up her poor defenseless gang affiliated organ dealership. No, I've always liked you. Well, I've always liked you, Blank. <laughs> but that super duper mart you gutted was under our protection. Ah, very good. So if I wanted to. Let Wait, you go has south, he just been sewing back on his fucking trigger finger this entire time? Trying to do you. Now you got anything to say in your defense? Guilty as charged. <laughs> just. Like that. Now he's got a working trigger finger I again. Tell you about this town I just shot up, Philly. My daddy lives in Philly. Oh, but not no more. He don't, unless he's a coward. <laughs> don't take the bait, son. Damn. In my experience, the apple tends not to fall too far from the tree. Oh. Is that true in your case? My daddy ain't no coward. Well, then I guess the only question is. Are you? <laughs> He's going to Prex. <laughs> oh, with a nut shot, too. Wow, he's really finishing the job there. Why? Do you have this picture on your wall? That's Moldavia. Why? Good question. No, that's not how I remember her at all. Yeah. Well, how do you remember her? Good question. No. No. There's... No. Okay, this is most definitely a cult. Mm. I think this is going where I think it's going. Don't get indoctrinated, Lucy. Don't get indoctrinated. What the fuck are they doing? Um, what? I'm not sure you want to participate, Lucy. Thanks for coming. Yeah, we'll see if I stay. You'll stay. Lily, though? Oh. 
What's going on here? Wait, Flame Mother? Oh. Oh no. Bring back Shady Sands. Oh no. We bring back those taken from us. Oh boy. By covering ourselves in their ashes. We bring back those taken from us. Oh Jesus. To bring back Shady Sands, blood must spill. What the fuck? Oh, getting the reveal. Waldaver is the messiah of Shady Sa She is from before the war. Yeah, that's quite a revolution. Uh, re revelation, isn't it, Lucy? Oh my goodness, the old ghoul art on the stand there is amazing. That's amazing. Titus, we need a talk. Yes. <laughs> oh no. These are called oysters. You want one? They make you feel so good. Oh jeez. You want to make my cock explode now? Sorry. Good lord. No, we need to leave. Right now, these people are insane. Yeah, they're like you, a little weird, but not. <laughs> Plus my arm. You know, I really, I ought to give it a little more time. I get why you'd want to stay. Okay, yeah, no I shit. Really do. I, I know this must all seem really nice compared to the, the shoot show that's up there. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you if oh you wanted to go back still in our deal and just be somewhere that is good and safe. They gave me a robe. Oh my God, this dumb <laughs> ass. He These is such a purpose. child. I'm oh my god. You, okay? I'm not leaving without you. Oh, she's sneaking down at 12. I will say this definitely feels very much like the game. Like, a lot. Going into a vault. Thinking everything's good and then revealing this like horrible truth underneath. That's the gulper. What in the hell? That is a face. That is a face in a jar. What the fuck? Uh. a woman to birth the gulpers and then the gulps immediately fucking ate her jesus oh boy the lord are there more of those things into oh wait nope that is a biogenically frozen pregnant woman biotech cryopod they have so many of them. Oh my lord. Oh, you need to hide. Also, um. Oh, it's the two nose dude. Glad you're alright. Fuck. I saw the door was open. I worried one of you might have gotten out. So, wait, are those like the cryopods out of Fallout 4 then? Hello? Oh, you need to uh, get the fuck out of there, Lucy. Oh, he immediately turned on the fucking... Oh, Jesus. They think one of the creatures got out. Man, you have horrible stealth. Wait, so he ref he didn't fire at you and you... Threw acid in his face. Oh, boy. I'm sure if we came to your home, we would say the same thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus.
Fuck this guy. Doing nothing. Ah, that's the end of the episode. Okay, wow. Um. Wow. Okay, so. Couple of things there. We have. There seems to be a big player in Vault Tech being revealed, Bud Askins, who was formerly of West Tech and saw, uh, oversaw the launch of the T 45s, which had so many fucking defects that it led to the almost the loss of the battle for Anchorage in Alaska uh, against, I think it was it was one of the communist nations. I can't remember if it was the Chinese or the Russian. Someone. I can't remember exactly who. My fallout war is a little... I haven't brushed up on it in a bit, but you have that going on. And he's like the main representative for fallout, or not fallout, for the... Uh, uh, fucking vault tech facilities. Uh, him and seemingly his wife as well seems to be a pretty high-ranking individual on the uh, on the inner like the inner sort of circle there of uh, corporate individuals. Um, Matt Berry as the uh, as the uh, the actor for Codsworth was uh, good to see him in his uh, his actual flesh and blood self and not actually you know just doing a voice role that was really nice to see. Um, and him being the sleaze bag like his character Laszlo in uh, fucking uh, what we do in the shadows. Uh, excellent, love that. And interesting that his name is Codsworth. So is that like is is he actually the voice for Codsworth himself in Fallout Four? Then that's an interesting little tidbit. Quite quite interesting and indeed, I think. And he sold his voice. Interestingly enough, he sold the rights to his character and his voice to Robco. Now, if I'm not mistaken, let me double check my Fallout lore here, but uh, the Mr. Handys, uh, the Mr. Handy robots, yep. Oh, interesting. Wait, hold on. It was a multi-purpose robot developed by General Atomics International, like I thought, before the Great War and refined in collaboration with Robco. Interesting. 2070s, the automaton surrounded more advanced designs utilizing complex neural networks in order to maintain their market share. General Atomics entered into a joint venture with Robco Buying their talents and experience with robots. Which basically completely overhauled and just completely refined the Mr. Andy. Sometime before the Great War, General Atomics and Robco wanted to upgrade their Mr. Handy line by adding an additional hand alongside other features. Oh, and even on the even on the page here it says the voice of Mr. Handy came from English actor Sebastian Leslie. Oh that's that's what his name was was famous for playing a butler character named Bartholomew Codsworth, which is where the Codsworth name comes from. Because they named their their personal uh, Mr. Handy after the butler Codsworth from the show, who was portrayed by Sebastian Leslie, who sold the rights to that character Codsworth. To ro wow, there's so many fucking loops here. Yeah, at some point before... Yeah, that's that's so... That's insulting. He sold his vocal rights to Robco for 
186,000 USD. That is a pathetic amount. Oh, okay, so the General Atomics model was from Fallout and Fallout 2. Whereas the Robco General Atomics model was Fallout 3 and onward. It's the round, bulbous one that was in the show. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, yeah, okay, so that, that's that, there's the precedent for, for Robco being involved with the Mr. Handys. And obviously Robco would have more connections to Hollywood, I guess, in that sense, to get the licensing for those characters. Because Robert House himself was literally, like, part of fucking New Vegas. So, it, like, and not even just New Vegas, but just Vegas to begin with. Yeah, not only that, Robco is one of the largest, most influential computer and robotics corporations in pre-war U.S. Yeah, basically everyone used the Robco system, so if there was anyone who had the ability to buy... He, basically, Rob Co Robert House was the fucking Jeff Bezos, like, fucking... Basically, combined Jeff Bezos and fucking, um... Uh... Uh... What's, what's his fucking name? Uh, it's blank, blanking on me. Um... Tesla guy, uh, why am I blanking? Why, why, why am I blanking on him, on him of all people? Uh, Elon Musk, yeah, why, why the fuck was that so hard? Yeah, it's basically like, the, the wealth of, of both, but the, the technological advancements of, Elon Musk's fucking industry is getting, like, but, like, ten times so. And, yeah, okay, here it is, too. Robco had good fortune with uh, forming lasting partnerships with other corporations, such as vault Tech to create the Pip-Boy 2000 and Pip-Boy 3000, which were the most common information you know, processing units across all the vaults and everything. Then they acquired so many other fucking things all over the place and yeah basically every single vault uses the robco hit boy so really yeah that pretty much yeah robco had all the ability to gain the rights to that because they had their t their rubbly little hands in every single pot so yeah it's no surprise that they got the rights there uh, the ghoul, uh, Cooper Howard's character, in the past being suspicious of his wife meeting Moldaver. In the past. Which basically means... That, okay. There is only one way, outside of being a ghoul, that has been established in the Fallout universe for a character to come from pre-war and enter post-war completely the exact same age uh, fucking everything health everything and that's the fallout 4 cryo chambers which is interesting Um, because the impression was that the Vault 101 was like a test. As, to, like, it's, it's very weird. Like, is, is the twist that Moldaver's from Vault 101, maybe? Because, like... But then again, that does make sense, because the only survivor from Vault 101 was... The protagonist of Fallout 4. So that, like, doesn't make sense. Plus, it's on the other side of... The fucking... Wasteland. So, it... Yeah, that's... That's... Hmm... 
Because I'm pretty sure Vault, if I look up Vault, or is it 111? Am I getting my shit mixed around here? I think it might be 111. Yeah, it's it's Vault 111. Um, okay, so Vault 111 was designed to observe the effects of long-term cryogenic suspended animation on unsuspecting test subjects. <laughs> okay. Um... So, the cryogenic tech worked. It could have been used elsewhere. But the whole experiment of this vault was putting them in their unsuspecting. And then releasing them after several days and see what the psychological effects on them would be. Perhaps? And then basically... Basically the staff wanted to leave and the overseer didn't. There was a mutiny and then they were just left in the fucking cryopods. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. That vault 111 was tiny as fuck. It didn't even really have many rooms. Or like any sort of living space like any other vault because they were supposed to just go in, get frozen, and then get released into the commonwealth after the bombs dropped at some point the whole point was that that vault wasn't supposed to have people living there it was supposed to be a, a test on like their psychological state i guess of going in there going to sleep and then waking up 200 years later not being aware that they were frozen which i think is the key difference here because it, i it seems like Moldaver knows that she was frozen, potentially. If they, like, cause that that's gotta be a way. It's like she was put in cryogenic for it's like. And considering Vault Four has the cryogenic pods too, it only makes sense that there's probably other pods somewhere. And somehow Moldaver got into one, but she's not associated with Vault Tech. So how did she get into one to begin with? It's very. In, it's very odd. It's very... There's a lot of moving pieces here. And then you have Vault 4... Uh, being the home of the Shady Sands residents who worship Moldaver as like a... Like a, a, a martyr or something? Like, I, I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Why they revere her so much. Um, I'm very curious to see what their connection is between the two, and then the cherry on top, that the vault is responsible for the creation of the gulpers. Yeah, sounds like vault tech. That indeed sounds like vault tech, alright. I am not surprised at all. Uh, but I think that's all my thoughts on the episode. Pretty good overall, and not bad, not bad. I'm very curious to see where this whole mystery is leading, and what it'll culminate in, and where this is all going, but, uh, yeah. Looks like, uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you did, and, uh, next reaction. Adios, ladies and gentlemen.